Sometimes I forget things. That's embarrassing. But what I really want you guys not to forget is that there are some apps out there for note taking that you haven't tried in a while and maybe it's worth going back and checking out or you just don't know that they exist and I am sorry for you. Now, the reason for this could be it's on a device that you used to use, you don't use anymore or vice versa, or you just don't realize that it exists because you've been using the same tool for so long. But I'm here to bring these to the forefront, just like Bear Notes. It scares me that people don't know what it is. So Bear Notes is a very cool platform. It's actually called Bear Markdown Notes, which is a interesting marketing. I know that Notion, for example, and a lot of tools are in Markdown, but the whole vibe here is that they want you to write naturally. First of all, look how adorable their logo bear is. I love it. Smiling bears are so not accurate, but I really like the style. And, and the whole aesthetic of the platform is really cool. From a pricing standpoint, you can use it for free from a local access to your note standpoint, document scanning. You can also just use it as a great, you know, easy note taking app. But for Bear Pro, what you get is the ability to export it to different file types, have a lot more themes, three free ones that you get, have more app icons, and the ability to search inside PDF and images, and the ability to sync with iCloud. So what I like it for is the fact that it's $2.99 a month for a premium product. You don't see that often. Like, it's really cheap. So I'm going to open up Bear really quick. Like if we're being abundantly clear, I don't know why people haven't tried this unless it's just because they didn't have a Mac like I didn't for so long. I always thought that the vibe on this looked really cool. So for example, inside of Bear, it's really simple. All you have to do to make a new note is click on this little button right here and then title it. I'm gonna title it My Daily Journal and right within here. And you'll notice that there's this little hashtag icon. Um, I can remove this and I can put a hashtag, hashtag journal. And then from here, you'll notice that unlike other writing tools that are marked down, there's no like, slash functionality, but it does have the markdown capabilities that you'd guess would be there. And for example, if I want to write a quote, I do the little right carrot here, and this is a quote. And then if I press delete out of it, it then gets away from it. I press the bullet point. It is a bullet point. I type two brackets though. And what's cool is I can link it to other pages like welcome to bear, which I think is cool. Um, then I click on it, goes back to that page. You see if I click on this, this actually is referencing a header in this. So it has a, a lot of nice little functionalities that make it look aesthetic. You notice that links here look really nice and you can click the little edit icon and either show a preview of it or you can not change the style of it for sure. And what is cool about the product is the search functionality I would say is really nice. Some products because of the robustness like Notion, you search in the search bar and finding the text is hard. but. Since it's localized notes, really easy to just find them. If you want to learn more about all the different styles and writing that you can do, and you want me to do a more in-depth breakdown of this tool, please check it out. But I think it's just an aesthetic, very simple and easy to use product with a nice little bar at the bottom in order for you to, you know, do the little journal things that you want. Like for example, if I just take a look here, showcases all of the different options and quotes and all these different things that can exist and the way to interact with them it's just so less I don't know, what's the word i'm looking for is it's just less out there and in your face than the other products and another really cool feature i like is that you can actually add passwords if you're on the pro plan which is pretty cool it has great word counters characters paragraphs read time it really is about writing that's what bears for and that's what i think you should check it out for next on the list which is something i've reviewed a fair amount recently is craft docs so Craft is a great product that is a note taker, but not only that, I feel like it also has a lot more to it as of recently. They just added a myriad of different things like reminders and they have great whiteboards. Now they are kind of in beta and they did a huge summer release improving these whiteboard features, but I will say it looks nice. It interacts nice. You get a actual experience of working in a whiteboard on a product that essentially should just be for writing and should be for note taking but it's a document platform more than it's like a note taking platform as you can tell the difference with bears marketing and crafts unlike bear though it does have markdown with an ai assistant and a bunch of different slash commands that allow you to see what the capabilities are rather than just writing and knowing kind of what it is as well as like having uh, this is a writing example where I can take this and this hovers over it, whereas Bear, as you saw, was a little bit more pared down. In this system, you have the ability to create a bunch of different folders. You can have multiple spaces if you have a team or if you're working for yourself, you can create different spaces to interact in. 
The multiple folders are awesome because then you could make subfolders of those folders and it had a really nice organized system here. So for example, for my school stuff, I could talk about history in one folder, operations, marketing. My side hustle has its own main folder. The views on this is cool. You can view it from any of the page standpoints and folder standpoints from a grid, list, or separate view. You can change the sorting of all of that, create pin documents, export them out. It also has really great sharing capabilities too. So if we go in the side here and press share, you'll notice that I have the ability to almost similar to like a Google or OneDrive file. Only collaborators can access, anyone with the link can view, anyone with the link can edit, and you can invite specific emails, publish it to a public space and create a link, export it as all these different files. It's definitely a more robust tool than you'd think, and you can transfer between these different apps. So I just press transfer like immediately, right, into Bear, and it says there was a note created in Bear. Check this out. If I go back to my Bear note, a daily lecture for the Bear note was actually created. I clicked on it twice, that's why you see this. But yeah, it actually transferred everything over, and then you can click on that and it goes back to the original document. So I love this. Right? Like you have the ability to actually use both of these tools. And if you like one or the other, you can go back and forth, especially from craft to bear. Just wanted to put these into the same product overview because you never know. The styling on the pages is much more advanced. You can do a lot of the different page header stuff you'd be familiar with in like Notion. You can have cover images. It can have a lot more style to it. So I'd say if you're looking for a more robust experience, go with craft. If you're looking for a more pared down, just local notes system, and you want a cheaper option, definitely check out Bear. The pricing on Craft Docs is either free, where you can create up to 10 documents for free and get two extra free documents per week after that. And then for the Plus plan, you have unlimited access to the product, create as many docs as you want. And then for team, you have the ability to like invite team members, business, you can invite all of your team for 250 per month. It's pretty awesome that you're able to do this. And you'll see in the note taking space, you can either get a really cheap option, you can get a not so cheap option, kind of varies. And then another tool that's last on this list that I think y'all should consider is actually Task8. So Task8 is a product for projects, you'd think, right? However, the founders, and I know this because I talk to them and I make videos for their channel references to the fact that I make content services for products. So if you're a product or service looking to make more content and you just don't have that kind of figured out, I have a whole content agency. If you want to go check that out at riseproductive.com slash content services. Regardless, it can be used as a note taking tool. Like if I make a new project here and I'm doing a brainstorming session for marketing plan, it absolutely, if you've noticed here, it does work in a very similar markdown capability to that of Craft, except its AI assistant is much more robust because it has agents. You can actually create AI agents to take notes, research different parts of the product. So as you can see right here, there's this little AI researcher that I put in here where I can insert the information that it had. It's actually really easy to use. All you have to do is type slash agent, go to the side here and you'll see there's all these researchers and all these different agents. So I can create a new agent if I want, or I can just use this researcher that I have. So for example, I can ask it anything like, what is a way to make this process take less time? And this researcher can have any context that I give it. Bunch of knowledge-based information can be stored within there. You can have it working in tandem while you're working rather than it being like this. It's a really cool system. And the fact that I can ask the project questions rather than just interacting with the notes by looking and thinking for myself. And I like the fact that it has more views than just a page. You know, you can still use it as a task manager. You can still use it as a mind map or Gantt chart kind of view. Like for me, I like that flexibility, but this is quicker than Notion. This is quicker than click up and all those more database heavy products because this isn't really a database. It's more text that's formatted differently. They're also coming out with some great automations and a bunch of different tools that you can use. And I'm really excited about what they have to offer. So I wanted to throw this in because for those of you that aren't considering it for free, you actually get an AI agent and five AI requests per month, which is really cool. And for $8 per month, you get an insane amount of value. You get all of these AI agents unlimited. AI usage for $8 a month is actually crazy in comparison to what you see on other products. And if you're a team, you also get a bunch of different things like unlimited AI automations. So imagine like note taking, research, automations all in one platform. So robust, so cool. If you're not thinking about this as a note taking tool or a research platform, you really should try it out.
And you should also check out videos like this one, how to improve your skills using tools like Tascade even more.